Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying an assortment of ice creams, and uh, one of them is uh, non-dairy, uh, that we found at Whole Foods in the Fresh Market. This is the Jenny's Ice Cream White Chocolate Peppermint. This is the Not A Moo Seasonal Peppermint Bark. This is the dairy-free one. And this is Beckon. And it is Crushed Candy Cane Brownie. So they all have like a peppermint theme. Yes, yes. Uh, the uh, I want you to take note of the price differences. The two that Kevin has, the Beckon and the Knotted Moo, were $5.99 at Whole Foods. The Jenny's was $8.99 at the Fresh Market. So quite a bit of difference in yeah. price. So when we when we all, when we say Whole Foods is expensive, it's not nearly as expensive. It's the Fresh <laughs> Market. It says a swirl of pink and white peppermint with white chocolate freckles. <laughs> Uh, three servings, two thirds cup, 123 grams is 310 calories, or you can eat the entire container for 920 calories. Uh, made to be licked, lopped, and loved. Jenny's makes it better. And our fresh market, they told us uh, they only get uh, delivery of Jenny's uh, once a week right now. So if it's really pretty. See if Kevin can hold it up there. Yeah. Pink and white. At first I didn't see the white chips, but now that I look, you see? I taste them. I mean, I get the yes. taste Yes, but they're, they are, those white chips are all in there. It's okay. It's very creamy. I don't, the peppermint is, is more of a peppermint like mint than it is like a candy cane. It's, it's right there at toothpaste for me. It, it, I like it a lot and I, I could like eat it. the whole thing. And I could eat the whole thing. Absolutely eat the whole thing. Um, I, I think it's terrific. Do I think it's better than of any other peppermint? Um, not necessarily. No, not eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's it, do I yes, do I think it's nine dollars? No. But do I think it's good? Yes. It is a good peppermint ice cream and the the white chips are not like a they're not like a, a morsel. They're not like a toll house morsel. They're uh they're more uh, thin and crisp than a morsel, yeah, I think. I agree. Uh, it, it's good, but it's right there too. And it, for me. it is nice and it's sweet. You do get a peppermint flavor. Like I said, I would have no issue eating the whole thing. For me, it boils down to you're paying nine dollars, and it doesn't taste any better, honestly, than anything else. No. So why would you pay nine dollars for no, it? That's my issue with it. This is the Not a Moo Seasonals Peppermint Bark, dairy free, creamy, and rich. Move over, candy canes. There's a new treat in town. Fresh peppermint pieces swirled with creamy chocolate fudge is the taste of the holidays you'll want at the top of your wish list. It is two-thirds cup at 95 grams is 170 calories, or you can eat the entire container for 520 calories. Not bad. The creamiest, the dreamiest. Oh, you know when they were talking about chocolate and brownie and all that so i was expecting it to be like more of a chocolate ice cream but it's not and i have had these setting out yeah so this one's a little softer that's okay huh? we don't there's not much to see in there we're I'm not mad about it you do get little, little ribbons of chocolate make sure i get some of that chocolate It's interesting going from one to the other. Mm -hmm. It looks to visually like foamy almost. It's very fluffy. I was going to say it's, it's very fluffy. Yeah. I agree. Foamy it's, it's is like, a good word. Yeah. It well, looks like foam. Yeah. I can't see that much detail, but. Yeah. It, it looks like foam. It has the texture of like a, a mousse. It's not bad. I tell you what, I really like um, the chocolate in there. The chocolate you adds, like that. Well, it adds a lot to it, um, flavor-wise. I don't mind the chocolate. 
I do, now that we've tried going from the Jennies to this, I do like the, you really can't even compare them because one's non-dairy. You know, right. this one, the Not Amu is non-dairy. To be non-dairy, I think it's very, yeah. very nice. And I do think it tastes like um, candy cane. And you're More left. More than peppermint. You're almost left with a, a like a menthol. Uh, mm -hmm. If you take a breath in, you get that cooling, cooling. effect. Yep. Yes, it's almost like. Like when you go outside and you've had, had something mentholated, um, it's just, it's very cooling. Uh, so that is very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you have to have non-dairy, I, I think you will like that, that flavor. And I'm left with a little bit of a, that chocolate flavor is a little like. The chocolate's okay uh, for me. I think I would rather have it without the chocolate, but there's not a lot of chocolate in it anyway. No, it's not. I had eaten, the, the last bite I took was all chocolate pretty yeah, much. Yeah, so. that's why I said, do you like the chocolate in it? Because I think, uh, for me, I, I don't know that I care for that particular chocolate. But, but it's mixed in. But there's not much in it anyway. Yeah. It's not like it's a ton of chocolate anyway. It just adds a different flavor to it. Right. So now we'll try the Beckon, and the Beckon is lactose free. So we uh, we we have some different ones here. Unbelievably delicious, fa la 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 la, lactose free Beckon crushed candy cane brownie. Uh, this is a limited edition. This says good old fashioned ice cream with ingredients you can feel good about. Um, it is. Uh, now there's a feel good flavor for everyone. Uh, vanilla, sea salt, chocolate chip, cookies, and sweet cream, mint chip. Oh, this is what they offer. Okay, so they're just listing their flavors. It is two thirds cup, is 310 calories, and there are three servings in here. Um, I got 99 problems, but lactose ain't one. Shout it to the world. Beckon ice cream. Okay, ooh, this one definitely has little pieces. Let me take this up so you can try to get it so you can hold it up. It looks like cookies and cream almost. It does. It look yeah. It absolutely looks like cookies and cream. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you would think that was cookies and cream. It's amazing how each one you would think they would taste very similar. So different. And each one of these have been very, very, very different. You know what, honestly, you know, I said cookies and cream. This really does taste like a cookies and cream. Yes, and and they have a cookies and cream. So. This is their cookies and cream ice cream that they've thrown some little crushed uh, candy cane in. The candy cane flavor is very, 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 very light. Yes. I mean, it, there's a touch there, but I don't know that you would know that they were there if you were blindfolded. I don't either. Because I am I know they're there because I know the, the flavor. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, yeah, that little flavor I'm getting, that little tiny little flavor I'm getting is uh, candy cane. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't know any better, I would think it was just cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. It's good, though. It is. It is. No, I like the texture and everything of it. Yeah. It, um, it uh, has melted more than the other ones, I think. Yeah. It's, I don't know. That first one's pretty, pretty liquidy. The Jennies. Uh... It is mainly cookies and cream. That's what it tastes like. I think you're going to have a hard time. Um, of course, we have had two that are very strong. I definitely think Jenny's is the strongest. Yeah, too pasty. And Jenny's is the strongest one here. But then the Nata Moo would have the second strongest flavor. This is absolutely the lightest. Oh, so, yeah. 100%. If you're on the wall, on the edge about, you know, you don't know whether you really like candy cane that much, you don't really want to go whole hog for that holiday flavor, this would be a good one to get. Even if you don't have to do lactose free, because it's so very, very light that by the time you eat all this, you'll know whether you, you want to get something stronger or not. It's, I think the quality's good. Yeah, but if I'm looking for, if I'm seeing candy cane or peppermint on something. Then this is going to disappoint I'm going to disappoint because if I buy that, I'm just like, I spent $5 on this. And the cookies are soft. Very, it's, very it, There's soft. no crispy. So mm. like if you're used to cookies and cream and you're used to a little bit of a crunch or yeah, something. No, these are very mushy. It, yeah, yes. They're, they're all mushy. Personally, I wouldn't buy any of these. That's just me personally. Right. I heard there's other brands of peppermint, candy cane, like ice cream, that would much, much rather have. I agree. Uh, however, if you need like, if you need uh, dairy free, this is not bad. 
the not a movie isn't um lactose, lactose uh, I don't even. I mean, if you like, it's cookies. really just not. It's really not I mean, peppermint. Yeah, I mean, they're cookies and cream. It's yeah, not any yeah, really. I mean, it, because the, you're not getting peppermint or candy. Really, you're not. It's just not strong. No, it's it's just not strong and at all. The jeans. I just didn't like it because it was too toothpasty for me. You were okay with it. I'm okay with it, but I'm not okay with the price. The so price there is... are other ice creams that make mm -hmm. peppermint bark. Hagen Dazs has a peppermint bark. Mm -hmm. Bahagandas. I'd rather have yeah. just a peppermint ice cream that has the little candy cane piece in there. When mm -hmm. I'm eating it, I get the crunch of the candy cane. Right. That's my favorite. I would just rather get uh, graters uh, or Haagen-Dazs and not. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, uh, think that uh, $8.99 is entirely too much money to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Because, it, like I said, it's just not. It's really good. I think all three of these are good. But it's like, it, okay, but is it worth that price? You know? Um, so I hope that helps you out. Just know they're three very different products, so it's hard to compare them. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.